Well, it has been a half year since Hawaii County formed its Animal Control and Protection Agency. It's a whole new division that has county workers doing what the Humane Society used to do for loose, injured, or unwanted animals. Our Diana Co caught up with the administrator, Matthew Runnels, on creating this agency from scratch and how it's serving a 4,000-mile area. It's been a little hectic. We've, um, we're kind of hitting the ground running. Um, you know, this is a new agency started in July. And so it, um, we're basically starting from scratch and building our staff and building um, our facilities. He's currently hiring 14 animal control officers. Anybody with animal experience um, or has previously worked as an animal control officer, I encourage them to apply. Runnels has two shelters in Hilo and Kona with plans to open another in Waimea and... We're also looking at a mobile unit um, that we can service the south end of the island as well. Most of the agency's $3 million budget will go to salaries and the rest to operating costs. The average intake has been 250 animals a month, mostly dogs. It ranges anywhere from cats and dogs to chickens and um, goats even. You know, but we, we mostly work with domesticated animals. About half transfer to a partner organization for adoption. Some get returned home. Others are strays that can't be rehabilitated and are put down. you got a month until Chinese New Year comes and then we're going to have more firecrackers. What did mm -hmm. you learn from December 31st? The fastest way for, for, for an owner of a dog or a cat to re have their animal returned to them is to microchip them so that we can scan them and, and get them their animal back as, as soon as possible. And once they microchip them, it, it's their obligation to register it. So you have to register it with online services. Do you have a message to the public asking them to, you know, have change their attitude or practices when it comes to having pets or surrendering pets? I mean, you know, I think a lot of the attitudes need to change in general um, for many of the people within the county. You know, when it comes to pet ownership, you know, pets a lot of times are viewed as property and not as a family member. Long term, Runnels hopes to have more employees and more coverage for the island and fewer strays. Matthew Reynolds, Animal Control and Protection Administrator for Hawaii County. Thanks so much for talking to me. Yeah, no problem.